Hello, my name is Emily, as you may or may not know, and today I want to talk about one of the most, dare I say, revolutionary, revolutionary. eras of fashion known to mankind. The early, the early 2000s. 2000s. Now, the early 2000s was a time when I wasn't really involved with fashion. Um, I was a toddler. At the time, really all I was concerned with was action figures and the backyardigans. You know, I didn't really have a concept of fashion, I was just taking baths and pooping my pants. Now, before we get into this disclaimer, I just wanna say that this is all in good fun. If I'm, you know, roasting a particular outfit or whatever, I mean, fashion is subjective and also an art form, so it doesn't really actually matter. I don't care what other people wear. It's just not something I'm, why would I care about that? <laughs> Okay, also, I just realized it looks like I'm topless. I am wearing a top. Sorry, it's just my hair's covering it anyway. Um, all right, well, let's get started. I personally think this is a very bold statement. It kind of looks like a rejected American Girl doll because the outfit is too risque, so she became a Bratz doll uh, who did not sell very well. I don't know how to explain this, but her shirt, it looks like, like kidneys. Well, I guess I just explained it, didn't I? Yeah, her shirt, it, it looks like kidneys to me. The patchwork on her jeans just looks very complicated. Like the person who made these jeans were like, how can I make this as difficult as possible for myself? Also just the low rise jeans, just such a, a staple of this time, you know, like all jeans in the early 2000s, they were just a millimeter away from showing your butt crack. You know, it's just one wrong move and just anus, anus on, display. on display. Anus for all to see. Conservative surfer girl. Like if a Mormon girl was breaking out of her shell and started going to the beach more often to escape her overbearing parents. I mean, this is just iconic. There's really no if, ands, or buts about it. I personally think this should be on the cover of every American history textbook there is. Known to man. Or forget about the cover. It should just be every picture in every American history textbook, period. <laughs> like, it doesn't even matter what part of American history we're talking about. Just every single chapter, page after page, just the same photo of, of our Brit Britain, just, just, just. Imagine teaching like that. Hello class, so as you all know, we have been focusing on this country's historical figures, and today we will be talking about the explorers Lewis and Clark. Uh... Oh... Uh, this is not Lewis and Clark. However, the photo is iconic, so let's talk about this instead. Although it is iconic, there's something about it that's very haunting. It looks kind of threatening. Almost like the denim is going to eventually take, take over, over their bodies their and, just and just consume, consume them, them like some, like some sort, of sort of gene monster, monster with a mind, mind of, its, of own. its own. Denim demon. Like if venom was genes, I, oh, sorry. Um, hello? Hey, are you busy right now? I'm, I'm in the middle of making a video. I. Sorry, I, I don't have this number saved. Who is this? That's irrelevant. I just wanted to say that your phone case is very ugly. I'm... Wait, what? That's why you're calling me? Um, yes. How do you even know what my phone case looks like? I can see you. Oh, what the hell? You should get a new phone case, and I know just the place to get it. Case Defy offers chic and protective designs that are equally stylish and practical. I'm sorry, is this the sponsored bit? Yes, why else would I interrupt your regularly scheduled programming? I just... I wasn't ready, okay? Just give me a second. Okay. Okay, it's been a second. Okay, sorry. I'm just trying to gather my thoughts. It's hard for me to wrap my head around all the great selection Case Defy has from their custom cases to their other cool and unique designs. I mean, that's fair. It can be pretty difficult to comprehend, especially since they've done so many awesome collaborations from Coca-Cola to BTS. Yeah, I mean, you kind of just broke into my house and started bombarding me, so. That's true, I am a stranger that just showed up into your house, so. Yeah. So how about I just show the viewers Case Defy's cool custom case page and it will, you know, give you some time to call the cops. Oh, okay, yeah, that, that sounds good. 
With Casetify, you can customize your own case using a variety of different designs and then choosing a text, color, and font. This way, you can really make your phone case your own. Casetify offers both stylish phone cases and military-grade drop protection. It does what a case is supposed to do. They really protect your phone. Casetify cases will keep your phone safe through drops of more than six feet. Their impact cases are engineered with a two-layer construction of Chi Tech material. So if you drop your phone with a Casetify case, you can be sure that it will protect it. Wow, that sounds amazing! Oh, sorry. No, officer. I'm, I'm not talking to you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yep. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Anyway, so the cops are on their way. Um, is there anything else you want to say before they show up? Uh, yeah, just one more thing. Make sure you go to casetify.com slash not even Emily to get 20% off so you can match cases with us. Okay. Is that, is that all? Yep. That's it. That's all. Okay. Awesome. Well, I guess I'll see you in court. Alrighty, girl. Okay. I'll see you. Okay. Yep. <sighs> Well, let's move on. So there's definitely a lot going on here, um, but honestly, I think Pink is kind of kind of a brave heroine for wearing this. This outfit definitely has like like customized sim vibes. With all due respect. First of all, the hair kind of looks like those squishy balls that are covered in like, like spikes or tentacles or whatever. Yeah, it looks like one of those if it was like microwaved for 15 minutes and then used as a wig. Also, her jeans are cut so that the pockets are just like not there, I guess. Like if she tried to put anything into her front pocket, it would just go into her vagina which in a way is a front pocket. And then her top is serving looks like something out of a Roman, Roman War mobile, mobile game, game where, where you know, they, they over-sexualize over the female, the female characters, characters and send them, send out, them out into battle, battle with just with their, their full, full midriff, midriff showing, showing and just, just acres, acres of cleavage. Of cleavage. Which honestly, more power to you. And then the robe, I mean, I don't even know. It looks like if a wild animal got into a fight with C-3PO from Star Wars. She looks like a bumblebee that's like the most popular girl in the hive. I mean, the fingerless gloves on only one hand. She could drop kick all of the other bees in the hive and they would say, Thank you, Gwen Stefani, I deserved it. Also, just the fact that she has a belt with her own last name on it. I mean, just purely revolutionary. If someone was like, for Halloween, I want to be a sexy version of the red balloon from the horror movie It. This is that. The prop of a demonic clown that lives in the sewers, but make it sexy. I mean, honestly, it's creative. Imagine sitting next to her at an awards show and then all of a sudden her dress just like squawks at you. What if it just flew away? and then, you know, just nips out on the red carpet. It's like a nip slip to the max. Just your entire dress just flies away. I mean, that's more than a nip slip. That's a, I mean, you're in the nude. This outfit looks like she was like a performer on a cruise ship, but then the ship crashed. Or, you know, maybe like a pirate princess who like pissed off a parrot with a very sharp beak. It just looks very torn up, which I, I mean, I think it was done on purpose, you know? It looks like she was in a rush to get to this event and instead of putting her clothes into the dryer, uh, she put them into a blender. But you know what? She looks very confident though, so 10-10 in my book. Honestly, I kind of love this. She looks like Tinkerbell's feisty best friend who has definitely slapped multiple men in the face. I mean, I can just picture her taking eight shots of vodka out of, you know, little flowers that are shaped like teacups. She is literally just one pair of wooden earrings away from becoming a middle school art teacher. And she looks like she would be a really like supportive art teacher too. Like I could literally just projectile vomit on the canvas and she would be like, oh, you know, I think, I think that you have something, a lot of potential here. I really like the creativity of um, the, the meat chunks and you know, the bile really gives it some, some individuality. 
you know, the, the little undigested kernels of corn really gives it a certain je ne sais quoi. Of course! It would not be a video about 2000s fashion without our queen, Ashley Tisdale. You know those stores like Justice, Limited to Claire's? It looks like if all of them threw up into a bucket and then Ashley Tisdale was just dipped into that bucket, baby. Double dipped, even. My favorite part of this is either the piano clutch that looks like, I don't know, a pencil case I would have had in middle school or something, or the shark tooth necklace, cause just, chef's kiss. Now obviously, I mean, the dress over the jeans, by uh, society standards today, it's just not great. The world today has deemed that, uh, you know, a dress over jeans deserves jail time. You know, chair, but make it electric. However, in this essay, I will argue that Anne Hathaway is literally so beautiful that it doesn't even matter what kind of heinous fashion crimes uh, she commits because um, most of the time I'm not even gonna be looking at her outfit, I'm gonna be looking at her face. She could literally wear roadkill. I mean, just a dead deer's carcass just stapled to her, you know, and then a dead skunk just wrapped around her neck as a scarf and I would still be like, wow, just your face is so beautiful to look at, just wow. Now this was always an interesting trend to me, just like the shutter shades thing. It's definitely not practical. I mean, this is basically like walking around with blinds in your face. It's if anything, it impairs your vision. You know, this is like ordering a hearing aid, but then when the package comes, it's just earplugs. But you know, overall, if you feel confident in them, then that's wonderful. Just take them off if you're going to drive or operate heavy machinery. All right, so that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like to take a trip down memory lane, uh, comment down below, I'm curious, what are some of your guys' favorite 2000s fashion trends? I think for me, the dress over jeans is just something that seems so interesting to me, so archaic, um, that I would have to say that's my favorite because it's just something that you would never see nowadays. I feel like I would more likely see someone out and about in a full suit of armor than, you know, wearing a dress over jeans. But yes, alright, I hope you guys have a good day today. Uh, thank you for watching and until next time.